So the news dropped. It's great. When we do guys. our show, the questions come in. We start thinking about the questions. This one came in as red yesterday because the news dropped yeah. later in the evening, around yeah. 7 o'clock Eastern. Uh, but Herbert will never be in the red again at this point with $252 million moving forward. Peter, Justin Herbert, news, contract extension, your thoughts? Yeah, it's an NFL record, and yeah. it, it's, it sets the bar. And I think Joe Burrow might exceed it. Or if Joe Burrow yeah. wants to take a team-friendlier deal, he'll make $230 million. I don't know. And something like that. But it's like, this is what it is and we do the sticker price all the time, but uh, I believe Tom Pelissero put a post out there. Like in 2012, Aaron Rodgers signed a deal to mm -hmm. make $20 million a year, and everyone went bananas. This is $52 million a year. It's hard to <laughs> put your $52 million a year. Uh, 52. Um, I is... remember when Ryan Sandberg was making $7 million a year. No one could believe it. <laughs> Seven. Just, they used to put all the baseball players on Sports Illustrated's cover. <laughs> right, right. They say, here's how much this player makes. We'll makes... be furious. Eddie Murray makes a million dollars? Like, yeah, what? Right. Um, it's, it's, now it's bananas, the money, and this is just football. Think about baseball and basketball on what those guys are making. Um, but it's all relative, and I think you said it yesterday. You don't pay someone based on prior performance. You, base the, you pay them based on the future, and I mm -hmm. think the future is very bright for Justin Herbert. We know he hasn't won a playoff game yet, but they have surrounded him with so many pieces and so many guys that are built like him mm. in that wide receivers room. I think this wide receivers room might be the best in all of football. And take a look at their heights. You know, you know Herbert comes in 6'5, 6'6. Six, six, six. This is who he's throwing to 6'2, 6'1, 6'3, 6'1, 6'4. And that's without even the tight ends who are 6'5, mm 6'6. -hmm. Six, six, six. Mm. Herbert has this offense, and I, beyond just the wide receivers, he's getting Rashawn Slater back as left tackle. Slater, who had one of the best rookie seasons two yeah. years ago, mm -hmm. went down with an injury. Jamari Sawyer is going to move mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. He was great last year, a sixth-round pick. And then you get the Kellen Moore uh, experience at offensive coordinator. Kellen Moore has been lights out with the Cowboys throwing the ball and putting the ball through the air. Mm -hmm. Had a chance to, sp to speak with Kellen yeah. over the offseason. I mean, you're talking about, he said he called it a, we're playing at a different jet stream. And when oh. you see that, and you're like, the height. So why does height matter? When your quarterback's 6'6", and every receiver's over six, six foot, and the corner's at 5'11", and 5'10", and 6 feet, you can throw the ball higher, and you can play the game in a different latitude and a different height than everybody else. I think that this deal is paying on that production. That Okay, Herbert's our quarterback one. I'm sure it was painful to get there. It always is. But I can't imagine how happy they are in Los Angeles this morning knowing they're starting camp and Justin Herbert is set for the future and he's got all those weapons around mm -hmm. him. Yeah, I remember earlier in the offseason, Tom Telesco, the general manager, was on with Pat McAfee and he said, I'm not losing sleep over paying Justin Herbert. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason for that. Justin Herbert early in his career has just been lights out. When you look at the numbers that he's put up compared to where quarterbacks have been in his first three seasons, just look at the right column. Don't even worry about how big those numbers are on the left. First, second, first, second. That's what he's done early in his career. And Shrey's, you said it. He hasn't won a playoff game. And I think sometimes we hold that against players. I think it came down to a matter of for the Chargers, are we better with Justin Herbert or are we better without? Because at this point, the quarterback market is just insane. You look at he's at the very top of it. And if I went around and polled you guys, all right, give me your top three quarterbacks. How many people have Justin Herbert in their top three? But when it comes to money, he is number one. And that's because his deal is up. And the whole way the CBA and this market works in the NFL, the thought process is when I'm a free agent, I have to make more than the guy before me. And as you guys open the show, that's what's so disappointing with the running back market is yeah. that's not happening. But for Justin Herbert and for the Chargers, it's a great day because you know you have your quarterback for the future. You can build around him with those receivers. Austin Eckler showed up. He's going to be there. Now the thing comes down to with Brandon Stanley, Justin Herbert locked in there. What are the Chargers going to do this year? Are they going mm -hmm. to be able to take that next step? Not only win a playoff game, but go ahead and do some damage once the postseason starts. This is why the draft is so amazing. Mm -hmm. I just love the draft. 2020 draft, the COVID draft, Joe Burrow's bell of the ball. I wonder how everybody in Miami is feeling today. Mm -hmm. So they take Tua right in front of Herbert. But to take the two apart aside, I went and did some research last night. Like, the takes on Herbert were so rough. Oh, that's Polarizing cool. prospect. Uh, Oregon guy, yep. inconsistent. Like, I, I pulled up tweets the second, the second he was drafted. These are Chargers fans. First tweet, I hate my life. <laughs> Next tweet, we should have been Isaiah Simmons or bust. Like, they were mad about Herbert. And then the real pedigreed people, like Joel Klatt, wouldn't draft Justin Herbert in the first round. 
Darren Gant, who I read all the time, they will regret taking the new Blaine Gabbert instead of signing Cam Newton. I love Blaine Gabbert. That franchise guy is a following on social media. Herbert's a guy who just stares us in the face and says, don't draft me in the top 10. I call these guys out, and we, we have to own it ourselves. Like, we weren't that sure either. Huge arm, but, like, he hasn't accomplished much, and I don't know, Tua was so special. Yeah. Is he the guy? But I think it's fun because we look at Herbert now over the last couple years, like, this was a no-doubter. It was a matter of, of, of when. Like, when are they going to sign him? My question is, at what point during the last few years did it become a no-doubt max contract guy? Because okay. you, you draft these guys, you go from, we're very excited about their future, to, wow, they're showing us some things, to, we might have something here, mm -hmm. to, it's a matter of time. So like, I know the moment. I, I have nailed the moment. Week 14, 2021, Chargers are playing at home against the Giants. Oh. It is the end of the first half. Chargers-Giants, unusual matchup. It's the third and eleven. The Chargers are on their own 40, and this is the moment Justin Herbert decided to get this contract from the Chargers right here. Here we go on third down. Here comes the rush. Rolling to his right as Herbert sets his feet, takes a shot downfield, has Guyton. Caught! Touchdown, Chargers! There is one quarterback in the NFL that can make that play and he is on the field here this afternoon. 59 yards, Herbert to Guyton, and it makes no sense, no that's, sense. That's the greatest throw I've ever seen. I, I'm not kidding you. All right, let's understand. <laughs> Daniel Jeremiah, all he does all day is watch throws. Yes. <laughs> and right here is when they got the contract. They were watching up in the Chargers' tough run-offs. They're like, well, start working it. Start working that abacus and that calculator. Daniel Jeremiah in full surrender cobra speechless. Yeah. Like, what is it? <laughs> Swallow the canary. Like, he just looks lost. And the guy does it morning, noon, and night. That was the moment. No, the big wins have not been there. Yes, he has to beat Mahomes in the playoffs and Allen and all those mm -hmm. guys. Uh, and they might have just spent 262 on the fifth best quarterback in the AFC. But he's money. He's awesome. He's unbelievably respected, talented, everything. Yeah. Uh, that was the moment. I can't wait for more moments. The same season, uh, yeah. Thursday Night Football, first time Troy Aikman got to see him. Right. Mm -hmm. He's in the booth, and it's it's Raiders versus Chargers, and I reference it awesome, often. He'd never seen every other play, every other pass for Herbert. He's, you just hear Aikman going, whoa, whoa. And it's like, <laughs> these guys hadn't seen wow. it. Wow. Yeah. It's like because he was stuck yeah, in that yeah, little yeah. market. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Justin That's Herbert, he's the real deal. I know he hasn't won a playoff game, but he is the real deal. I'm glad you went with that draft class because, you know, watching, Tua and Joe Burrow that college season you know those East Coast Eastern time zone games for college That's are true. so important mm -hmm. you come out of Oregon and um, I remember going to the National Football Foundation dinner in December mm -hmm. where they name they award the Campbell Trophy mm -hmm. which is the best football player who does the most community service and okay. the smartest guy Justin Herbert won that year mm -hmm. I didn't know much about him even coming off the SEC he got up there and spoke and I was like I'm kind of impressed, and I felt embarrassed that I didn't know more mm -hmm. about his football yeah. uh, acumen, if you will, coming in. Then he gets drafted, and I see this uproar, and still part of my gut was like, but he seems like a great guy, and now all of a sudden he's taken this team and this locker room, and mm -hmm. obviously his skill set has developed so much. What I love is that now there's this sweet spot between $218 million and $230 million. and Joe Burrow, there's a meme of him at LSU with like the slick yeah. back hair, and he's just smirking, <laughs> and like that's just what we're going to see now for the next, I don't no. know, one day, 12 days, whatever, because mm -hmm. You know he's gonna fall somewhere in between that. So congrats Burrow to that. Has a trick up his sleeve. That sometimes. draft class, yeah. he does. The draft class. I mean, I, he, he may do something unpredictable. I agree. You know, for the I mean, team. He, yeah, I, he I, might. I, I, yeah. It would not surprise me if he took less. It's just he's yeah. an, an original thinker. I don't know. Maybe he won't. Who mm -hmm. knows? Mm -hmm. People have three hundred million. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Right.